So, my name is Nathan Karras. I'm a sophomore for Lincoln East High School. And this is my poem, Birds Poop with Freedom. My back speaks to me, so I use it to decorate my room as a nice conversation piece that will never stand straight no matter how much support it receives. My back speaks to me like a little beacon, saying I'm too serious all the time, that birds poop with freedom or they're not singing right. For a while I believed this to be true. I couldn't poop with freedom. And that's why I sound like crap. My back speaks to me and says I'm allergic to upward directions, which makes me really mad because I sneeze every single time I look at the sun. I'm afraid I'll say bless you and I'll have to say something back. My back speaks whenever I enter a restroom and makes an observation of how many men use stalls just to pee. When they're on the phone, I can hear the splashes on the seat and I laugh in pity, knowing that we'll never be able to multitask. Stalls are like rent-free apartments where no one's allowed to see you. For many truckers, it's an escape, but they have not mastered the art of being a bird. So seats are still prison where slouching makes your back shout. Sometimes it gets so scary, even your butt speaks. <laughs> My butt speaks to me, little whispers, but nothing useful. It's all just a waste of time. So my back is always asking, why am I listening to this? <laughs> my back claims never lied to me, but I have my doubts because it listens to Fox News. <laughs> it prevents me from eating healthy breakfasts in the morning because it gives me cramps and makes me feel awful. Bananas have the same effect on me any time of day. So they're the silent but deadly creatures threatening to brown their self-worth, so I'll eat them out of sympathy. My heart speaks to me and says I shouldn't give a crap about bananas. <laughs> my back is cautious of chickens because white meat and milk is my anti-ibuprofen. It causes migraines I refuse to handle well, and I'm like a cat, so chickens getting the upper hand is not on my bucket list. I'm a limited human by cans and can't do's, and I sit and look at the power lines and see all the birds up there, wondering how many have been stung by bees, how many have been in cages, how many are brave enough to come down. It occurs to me they're not thinking this. They have backs that don't hurt unless they hit a window, which also makes me sneeze. They have silence in the air, and without... <sighs> 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 Their thoughts are alien to mine because birds poop with freedom without backs that speak in nonsensical human needs. Their observations help with survival and moving on with misfortune. Their poop is their defense. While my only choice is to laugh in pity and wheeze in sympathy for people whose rooms are upstairs, they're more likely to have heart attacks. Birds can't do this. Their voices are like feeders to fat pigeons. They're light enough to fly and joyful enough to even though it's depressing to see a sad one squat. But if their emotions are their social food, they feed seriously on the rich stuff. And even with their thin bones, they don't have the will to be lighthearted because life is a serious matter. The drill sergeant blue jays are criminals and bullies with bad attitudes in their genes. The woodpeckers are killed for being obnoxious even though they've already explained they're self-conscious. And the female flamingos are uncomfortable for being so tall. We laugh in self-defense. But birds poop with freedom. So instead of being angry when lands on our faces, we should look up and say thanks and embrace the, their unique release as well as ours. I'm actually kind of glad we can't poop like birds. <laughs> <laughs>